In this presentation, we will take a look at multiple choice questions related to budgeting. We'll go over the questions, then we'll practice test taking skills with them. First question. First, a word from our sponsor. Yeah, uh, actually we're sponsoring ourselves on this one because apparently the merchandisers, they don't wanna be seen with us. But, but that's okay, whatever, because our merchandise is, is better than their stupid stuff anyways like our CPA six pack shirts, a must have for any pool or beach time. Mixing money with muscle, always sure to attract attention. Yeah, even if you're not a CPA, you need this shirt. So you can like pull in that iconic CPA six pack stomach muscle vibe, man. You know, that CPA six pack everyone envisions in their mind when they think CPA. Yeah, as a CPA, I actually and unusually don't have tremendous abs. However, I was blessed with a whole lot of belly hair. Yeah, allowing me to sculpt the hair into a nice CPA six-pack-like shape, which is highly attractive. Yeah, may maybe the shirt will help you generate some belly hair too. And if it does, make sure to let me know. Maybe I'll try wearing it on my head. A and yes, I know six-pack isn't spelled right. But three letters is more efficient than four, so I trimmed it down a bit, okay? It's an improvement. If you would like a commercial-free experience, consider subscribing to our website at accountinginstruction.com or accountinginstruction.thinkific.com. Formal statement for future plans expressed in monetary terms. A. Projection. B. Analysis report. C. What if report. D. Budget. E, variance analysis. We'll go through this again and then use the process of elimination. Formal statement of future plans expressed in monetary terms. A, projection. That sounds like a reasonable term. I'll keep that for now. B, analysis report. And eh, that sounds kind of reasonable. I guess I'll keep that for now. C says, what if report. That seems like a very strange named report, possibly not a very formal report. I'm going to cross that out. D says budget. That, of course, is what we're concentrating on here. So we would think that that could very well be uh, an answer. E says variance analysis. And that sounds familiar, but it's not exactly what we're looking at here. That might be something we kind of do with a budget, but I don't think that's going to be applicable. We'll keep A, B, and D. Let's go through this again. Formal statement of future plans expressed in monetary terms is either A, projection, B, analysis report, D, a budget. And of those three, we would think we would have D here considering we're on the budgetary area. Now, if you have a, a larger type of test and you're not focusing just on the budgets, of course, then it may be a little bit more difficult for us to go through this. And note also that if you see something like a projection, you might pick that and say, hey, that sounds correct. And you could argue the case that possibly a projection is correct in some ways, but it's not the most correct answer. So remember that you're probably not going to win an argument like that, uh, even if you were to contest it. So you want to go with the best answer. And the best answer here is the budget. Final answer, formal statement of future plans expressed in monetary terms, D, budget. Next item, next question. Planning future business actions, expressing them as a formal plan. A. Projecting. B. Future reporting. C. What if analysis. D. Variance analysis. And E. Budgeting. Let's go through that again using the process of elimination. Planning future business actions, uh, expressing them as a formal plan is either A. Projecting. Again, that sounds kind of reasonable. I'll keep it for now. B, future reporting. Probably what we're doing, but I don't know. I'll keep it for now. C says, what if analysis. Once again, that sounds a little kind of strange, not very formal. Uh, I don't think it's going to be that. D says, variance analysis. Once again, uh, that sounds familiar. And we might do variance like differences, which would be the actual versus what happened, but not the item here. So E says, budgeting which again, sounds kind of like what we're doing here. So I'm going to keep E. So we're left with A, B, and E. Let's go through it again. Planning future business actions, expressing them as a formal plan is either A, projecting, B, future reporting, or E, budgeting. And of those three, 
once again we're on the budgeting area so we would think it would be the budgeting item again you could argue either a or b and say hey that's kind of what we're doing we can call it that if we want but uh, you probably want the formal answer here which would be the budgeting so once again final answer planning future business actions expressing them as a formal plan is e budgeting